second year teacher here in Las Vegas and I'm so excited to get the day started. Happy Monday. I got a new coffee mug over the weekend. It's from Amazon. It is so nice and I figured I want to only drink coffee out on Fridays. I want to start that as a habit. So I got a new coffee mug to motivate myself to make coffee at home. So yeah, this one is from Amazon. I think it is just so cute. This cork thing is adorable. I saw this on Melina Sisiotti's channel and I was like, I need to have that mug. So I love all things glass. So yeah. This morning, I have to get ready and prep for my students. We're working on text features again this week. We're like trying to, we're working on text features this week again. So I have to go find some um, nonfiction informational textbooks for us to do another scavenger hunt this today because we are also, we're like practicing the habit of looking for text features while we're reading. So that's what I have to go do this morning. I'm also, oh, we're also working on skip counting this morning. So I printed off these really great uh, like number sign posters from Miss Jacobs Learners from TPT. I'll show you guys that later this afternoon. Um, let's get started with the day. This is my outfit for the day. The dress is from Shein and my shoes are from also Shein. I love this dress because it's very like flowy and comfortable. I just put some shorts up underneath it and just chill the whole day. It's such a nice like, I don't know, it's just a really comfortable dress. I love it. So yeah, that's my outfit for today. My earrings are actually from Five Below. There are these like um, Monstera plant earrings as well. So yeah. I am done for the day. So excited, the end of the day. Mondays are always great days. I know it's contrary to popular belief, but students are so much, I don't know, I think maybe they're still tired from the weekend, but they're a lot nicer on Mondays. So we had a great Monday. Um, something that you guys did not tell me about second graders is that there is a lot of liking going on and I don't know what to do. I need your guys' help. What do I do? There's so much I like this person. I like that person. Last, a couple weeks ago, we were tattling. And now all I hear about is who likes who. And we're in second grade, so. Uh, I don't know how to nip that in the bud. Like, I don't know how to be like, you can't like somebody at seven. I don't know how to say that. So I need you all's help. So literally, I need your help because I don't know what to do with that. But I wanted to show you all a resource that I got from Miss Jacobs Little Learners. You guys know we're working on skip counting this week. And so I've got these really great number posters from Miss Jacobs Little Learners. I'll link her TPT store. And it's basically just like the numbers skip counted. So there's two. And I'll, this is the one that I really need. So there's 10. Oh, no. There we go. So there's 10 right there. And then five. So I'm gonna cut these out and put them up on our math anchor board. My mic has been saving me for the past like, I don't know, month and a half. Get yourself a voice amplifier. It is wonderful. I use it every single day. I literally every single day get one. The last thing that I have to get done before I go is just to make sure that everything that I'm doing tomorrow is already prepped. So I'm like writing down in my um, happy planner everything that I'm doing tomorrow and just make sure that I have the copies for it and everything so so I am very excited I literally just changed at work in um now so I just changed at work and I headed over to my new gym guys I started taking these fitness classes and I'm literally so excited um I started it all last week and I really did enjoy it and so I was like okay let me get the unlimited session so basically like it's like cardio strength training and hybrid like depending on the day um and it's just like a group fitness class and I am just so happy with it already I feel so much better about myself like I just feel like I'm in a routine now like the past couple of weeks I have been struggling because I have not been in a routine since we moved from Chicago and although like I'm really enjoying my time out here and I'm enjoying being in Las Vegas and everything I 
thrive on routine. I don't know what it is, but the Enneagram 2 in me just thrives on routine. And so I'm finally getting back into a fitness routine and I have just been loving it. I'm actually, I don't know if you guys have watched my older vlogs, but I started, I'm taking this Alani New pre-workout. This is the Breezeberry one. It is so good. Like, it is so good. It is such a great pre-workout. I don't feel jittery unless I drink coffee with it, which happened one time. Um, but for the most part, like the taste is really, really good. Um, and so I am excited. I love the Alani new pre-workout. This is the only one that I have. I really want to try another flavor too. But I think I see them a lot more in stores now. So I think I might try um, some of the pre-bottle pre-workouts and like the other Energizer drinks. But this one I highly recommend. If you're looking for something to give you energy before you work out, literally the best thing ever. So I'm gonna get ready for my workout. I'm gonna take my pre-workout and I will talk to y'all afterwards. So good. Good morning, happy Thursday. So I've got you guys on the dash, like I'm not holding anything, we're good. It was slightly chilly this morning, like the slightest, slightest coldest warm in the air. And I just got so excited for fall, like I am so ready for the heat to be done. Living in Nevada has been such a culture shock for me, like I am not used to it being hot all year round. And my mom was like, she texted me the other day, she's like, it's cold. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I wish it was cold. <laughs> she's like, it's cold in Illinois. And I'm like, I wish it was cold out here. But anyways, I want to kind of to come on and like talk about like imposter syndrome because this week I have been feeling it heavy. If you guys don't know what imposter syndrome is, it's basically like when you feel that like you are not qualified basically to do your job and you are basically a fraud and that any given moment somebody's going to like point out that hey you actually don't know what you're doing when in reality it's just all in your head and you do know what you're doing and you're qualified and you are more than capable of completing whatever thing or having whatever accolade or whatever and lately i have been feeling such like severe imposter syndrome in my life and in my classroom and it has just I don't know like I think there there has been things that have been going on in the past couple of weeks that have been triggering it and it's been making me feel like maybe I don't know what I'm doing maybe I am an imposter maybe like the degree that I have and my masters that I have is not worth anything because clearly I, like, <laughs> clearly I don't know what I'm doing but I know that's not the case and it's really just all in my head and I know that I know what I'm doing and I know that I'm a good teacher and I know that if I didn't know what I was doing, I would go and seek help or seek counsel or whatever to be better at my job. And so it's really like, like trying to avoid imposter syndrome is, I don't know, it's such a natural thing to feel like, hey, maybe I don't know what I'm doing. But it's just in your head. And if you've ever felt like that or feel like that, especially as like a newer teacher, like I just want you guys to trust yourself and trust that you know what you're doing as a teacher. Like you literally went to school and you got a whole degree. Some of you all have masters and you literally paid to know what you're doing. And so don't feel like an imposter in your classroom, like on Instagram, social media, when you feel like, oh, those other teachers are doing things that I'm not. Sometimes I feel like oh, I could be doing more, but I know that I'm literally doing the best that I can and that if I need to do more, I will. It has been rough. It's been challenging. But hopefully now we are in a space where the situations have been addressed and they've been handled. And hopefully they resolve themselves I'm hoping and we can move on with like a fresh start and like a fresh rest of the school year um, I've had some challenging behaviors in my classroom and it's been tough and honestly I'm so proud of myself because I could have handled it a lot differently and last year I dealt a lot with depression because of the school year and being virtual all year round. So I think this year, even though it has been challenging, I'm a lot more grateful for being in person because I know what it could be like to not be in person. And like both have their like challenges or whatever, but 
I'm just grateful that I am in a better place to deal with these things and I have experience with a full school year to deal with these things so in some ways like my second year of teaching is my first real year of teaching because this is the first year that I've been in the classroom for a majority of the time let's cross our fingers that we can stay that way but yeah in some ways it is and I keep having to like think and like give myself grace and be like you are literally just starting and a lot of experiences that other teachers have had you were robbed of because of the pandemic and things like that so I don't know. my outfit for today my team teacher made this uh, shirt it says um, team second grade um, we stick together it's got PBJ on it so cute um, we all have one and then I figured this skirt would go really cute with like the color scheme so yeah that's my outfit for today my shoes are from where are my shoes from my shoes are from the beauty supply store <laughs> literally like a random beauty supply store and then my earrings are the Perry Fioi hoops that I showed you guys earlier this week. I've pretty much been wearing them all week. And so yeah, my outfit for today. Okay, so to prep this morning, I have to make my to-do list. I also have to prep this text feature collage that we're making. So our curriculum has these kind of like, almost kind of like scholastic newsletters, but a little bit more in depth um, of like social studies topics. And so I've got a bunch of different topics, um, and they're nonfiction, so they have like, um, they're nonfiction informational, so they have like really good graphics and stuff. And so we're gonna make a nonfiction text feature collage using those, and that's gonna be really fun. They're gonna have to go through and see if their magazine has headings, has a map, has diagrams, has captions, all that kind of stuff. So that's gonna be really, really fun. Um, I think I'm just going to go get some like wallpaper, like not wallpaper, but bulletin board paper from the teacher's lounge instead of using like a bunch of anchor charts. I'm just going to use like a couple of a big text feature, um, a big bulletin paper to do that. So yes, that's fun. Yeah, so yesterday was the start of Hispanic Heritage Month. So I was thinking of doing a um, Hispanic important figure um, for every day or like a person of Hispanic heritage culture and talking about like them and their story. So today in our morning slide, we're talking about Lin-Manuel Miranda. And obviously you guys know I love Hamilton. So this really hits home. And then also we've been listening to the Silent E um, from the Electric Company. My coworker showed me this and we've been obsessed with it ever since. So we've listened to it like every day. The kids, some of the kids know who what Hamilton is, some of them don't. Anyways. Um, we're gonna have fun with that. Also, you guys know we've been talking about natural disasters for the past two weeks. I did say earlier this week that we were gonna do a tornado experiment, but I'm thinking that instead of doing the tornado experiment, I was only gonna do the tornado, the tornado experiment because it would be easier, but I'm thinking of just changing it to the volcano one. So, because yesterday we've been talking about volcanoes and the students were super into it. And so there is this activity that goes with our volcano journal where it talks about different types of volcanoes, like effusive, explosive, and something, or dormant, I think. So there will be three types of volcanoes and the students will have to guess or figure out which, which one. So which experiment is that type of volcano? So that will be fun. All right, I need to start prepping for this morning and making my to-do list and everything. So I'll talk to y'all a little bit later. Also, I got my cup, my keep cup. I've been using this cup literally all week. It is the best thing that I have probably ever bought. So if you're looking for a good cup, keep cup is pretty great. Okay. <laughs> We are done for the day. Um, we had such a great day. So um, the volcano incentive absolutely worked. They were so good. They want us to earn those class stars so that we can have our volcano experiment over tomorrow on Friday. So we're gonna try to make that like a weekly thing. Some type of end of the week incentive so that they can have some type of 
immediate gratification because I think when we wait um, for our Starbucks store, I don't think I've ever explained it, but basically my students earn like stars throughout the day. Um, and then at the end of the month, we have Starbucks store and they can earn coupons to like, um, they can earn coupons to do things around the classroom, like choose their job for a week or use our bubble chair for the day or whatever, like sit at the teacher's desk for the day, have lunch with me, kind of stuff like that. Or they can win, win like candy or kind of like little small prizes and stuff like that. But that only comes once a month. And I've realized that although it works, it's not it's not immediate enough for them to want to see it and have it and so having something at the end of every week is helpful i also got that from miss kellogg's button she has like an incentive every at the end of every week and so i think that this volcano thing was a hit and i think i'm going to do something maybe like donuts or something at the end of every week so anyways i'll show you guys my starbucks store at some point i just haven't talked about it on the vlog yet but our behavior incentive is working really really well oh my gosh so they did such a good job I am a very type A teacher guys. I'm very neat, very organized. I like my room to be neat and organized. And my co-worker who's next door to me, she's like more like type B, like she's more like free spirits and she does a lot more of these kinds of things. So like I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to be like let loose a little bit and be a little less like strict with stuff. And so this project was very hard for me because having them having scissors and glue and cutting and things were all over the place it was a lot but it turned out so nicely it turned out so good so this is probably incentive for me to be more type b teacher and less type a because i promise you when i saw all the scraps of paper on the floor i almost lost it i almost lost it so we're, we're making baby steps to be more uh less rigid and more free spirited I guess not free spirited but you know more hands-on activities but this was so much fun and they surprised me they actually did a lot better than I thought they would they were able to recognize the text features in the magazines and they really really did an awesome awesome job so this is what it looked like so overall we had a really great day I was able to get some projects done in between um like prep and lunch and stuff so let me show you what the new things are I finally put up the numbers from Miss Jacobs Little Learners, and this is going to be helpful because we're literally working on Skip County right now, so that's helpful. So our library area is kind of like our writing area too. I always tell them that they're authors and that what we write like is important too. So that's the writing center, and now I have to prep for tomorrow. I'm going to practice making this volcano <laughs> with the kids. Well, I'm going to practice making it by myself first so that I make sure I do it right with the kids, and then. I'm going home because I had a great day and I would like to go home and I have to go to F45 training. So that's my day. stuff from my car because it's a lot of stuff um i also was donated some snacks to my classroom so i have to go get those out of my car too so i have to go grab all that stuff but we're having a great day i got a salted caramel cold brew from starbucks this morning venti because i was so tired this morning like i'm legit so tired um also, every time I go to Starbucks, I always order a drink and I order water to go with it. So I'm making sure I'm staying hydrated and the water is free. So just a great way. And also, like, I feel like I feel like when I drink water out of these cups, like I consume more water. So that's my little hack. That's my little Starbucks hack. Every time I get a drink, I always get water to go with it. Whatever size it is, I always get the same size of water. So I'm making sure I'm drinking more water. So anyways, I have to get prepped for this morning and I will talk to you guys a little bit later. What a day. Oh, I'm so glad today is over. I'm so ready to be done. 
Um, we had such a great day. The volcano experiment turned out really well. Um, they did such a good job. We took them outside and I combined with my co-workers class and we just did like four different types of volcanoes. So it was a lot of fun. But I think this vlog is getting really long, really long. So I'm going to end it here and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.